The content of this podcast is provided for general informational purposes only and is not intended as, nor should it be considered a substitute for, professional medical advice. Sweaty and pissed, sweaty and pissed, menopause makes me sweaty and pissed. Well, hello, my darling. Hello, Leanne. Here Good we to are. be back. I know. I, I know. It feels like it's. It feels like with all the holidays, it's just been a while. It it does, but it really hasn't been. It really that, hasn't been that, that long. <laughs> but um, I, we're back here at Sweaty and Pissed Menopause and Mower. Yes, I'm Karen Nickel, nurse practitioner, and I'm Leanne Morgan, comedian and yes. wife and mother of three. <laughs> I know so many ands and ands and ands. Yeah. So, so you've been in San Antonio. Uh, yes, I um. I had a busy December yeah. and traveled a lot and and worked a lot. I went to Austin and then I went. I had Christmas. Tried to. I had not bought everything. You know, it all falls on the mama. <laughs> I know. Because Chunk said to me, "Do you have it all done?" I was like, "No, I don't have it done. I've been on a plane and then I've been at a comedy club. So I've I hysterically got everything ready for my family mm-hmm. and and some things I didn't get ready." And my house was dirty. And then I <laughs> went to my little mom and daddy's. Yes. There was a lot of pork. Uh-huh. A lot of, yeah. You know, my people had a meat processing business. Right. So they show love through meat. Yeah. So a lot of meat was eaten. <laughs> a lot of constipation. And I t- say this because you're my provider. Yeah. And I tell you everything. And then, <laughs> and, I, and I should hide some of this from you. But then I had to get on a plane, go to San Antonio yeah. to the LOL comedy club and do a new year's well i did seven shows in four nights is that a pretty big club it's a huge club it's like 450 seats oh wow um yes and it and a lot of yeah and sweet sweet and you know i used to live in san antonio i know so i got um i got to see a lot of my old friends because my kids were three five and seven when we moved there for chuck to be over south texas for clayton and so I'm, you know, when your kids are little, do you remember how yeah. you make sweet yeah. friends when yeah. your kids are little? Yeah. Because it's like you're in battle together or yeah, something. Exactly. This is a different battle, menopause. Now, it's, that's a whole nother bonding thing. But that's when you true. got little children and and um, you talk about teachers and, you know, and hateful kids in school that bully and you bond over that yeah. mess, yeah. you know? So I had a lot of good friends. I got to see them, and the weather was not great in San Antonio, which oh. I thought it would, you know, because that's kind of it was it was beautiful weather when we lived there. Like February, flowers bloom, nice. and it's yeah. tropical, yeah, and it's beautiful, and what you feel it? like you're on vacation. Yeah, was it cool? And it was windy, windy? and cold, and cut right through you, and all that. But <clears throat> anyway, I got I laid up in the bay and I watched television, and I. Took a bunch of exercise clothes and did not get them out of the suitcase. <laughs> and I was, and I'm sorry for that. And well, I know I have to apologize to well, you for less, that. Less laundry for you to do when you get back. Well, yeah, but you know, what is wrong with me? <laughs> but I was at a really nice Hilton and I laid up in the bed and watched um, TV and, um, and looked at sales on my phone. I'll just be honest. I looked at sales, but I did have friends come and take me out to lunch and that kind of like. Anyway, so we worked that club and, I'm. I don't want to say that I'm too old to work a comedy club, seven shows in four days. But let's. Okay, I'll say it. I'm too old. <laughs> <laughs> but I would want to thank all the people, women and men, drove from Houston, from all wow. over because of the dry bar clip. You know that gave me the shingles. Yes. And um, <laughs> and for I don't know if I know if we discussed it, but I had a, a I have a comedy special on a dry bar comedy called So Yummy. And they started releasing clips mm-hmm. on Facebook, and one of them has over 27 million views, and that is all a blessing from heaven and dropped out of nowhere. But all that attention and all that stuff, we believe, made sure. me go into the shingle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good story. <laughs> so I'm over the shingle. And of course, I had to be on your face. It was on my face, <laughs> yes. And... And you said, just don't rub up against people, man. <laughs> and, you know, I thought when I did shows, because I had shows that month, and and um, I thought, oh, well, I'm not going to rub up on people, but I really do rub up on people. I didn't with the shingles, but I yeah. realized when you said that, oh, I really do rub up on people 
you know, people get to my yeah. cheek, want to take a picture, and I want to love on them. And I thought, Lord, I'm going to spread shingles. So <laughs> I didn't. I kept my fist bump people like <laughs> President Obama. But anyway, I get, so, so San Antonio was wonderful. It was New Year's Eve. Mm-hmm. Went through all that. I would love to work in San Antonio again, but I do not want to work an- another New Year's Eve. I don't want to be away from my family. I'm getting at an age where I don't know. I'd had to leave my little mom and daddy, and and I just so I've got a show this weekend in Middle Tennessee, so I'll get to see them again, mm-hmm. but and make that up to them. But I ain't, and I'm telling you this because <clears throat> Jesus is in the room, and I want to be honest. <laughs> I ate a bunch of club food. When you're okay, you you probably know about me now that I'm cheap. I'm very I don't like to spend money, and I and I used to, but I've been married to Chuck Morgan for a long time, and he has been in my ear. <laughs> well, aren't you worried about retirement until I am <laughs> thinking? And he's told me being in the mobile home business is it, Lynn? We're about to lose everything. Then it's you know when we was in sales. You just one month is woohoo. Yeah, the next yeah. month, you, you know, not so. Yeah. So he has told me all my life that we're just about ruined, <laughs> and it's his way of keeping me down. But anyway, I so now I'm gotten cheap, and I also think I'm a lot like my mama Lucille, who could make a living off a of flat rock, raised on a farm. <laughs> Her mama uh, died with more money than because she didn't res- never, s- spent never spent anything. it. No, and so and they would use their eggshells for fertilizer. They're those kind of people. Yeah, yeah. So uh, at the club, you get a free meal at night and two drinks. Well, I was trying not to drink wine. I don't want to get hooked on wine. I have to do a show. <laughs> <laughs> well, by by show four, were you were you doing oh, the wine? <laughs> well, I mean, I thought they're giving me two free drinks. What? I let that I'm not go. gonna make it through seven without yeah. that. Yeah. So I well, and it was a hard week. I had a couple. I had an yeah. opener and a feature that were <clears throat> going through a lot. They were going through a lot, and they and uh, they were having a hard time. And it was and it. So I in in other words, I was having to pull us out of a big black hole. <laughs> and I and, and I can do it, but it's you know it's hard when you got two people coming in front of you and very low energy and. Yeah. Their rhythm and everything. And I, anyway, so I, yes, I did drink to get through it. And I, um, I got that free meal because I kept thinking, oh my gosh, that's part of my pay. And, and what that's is Chuck what, Morgan speaking to me? What is considered a meal at the, at that club? Well, <laughs> before they just changed hands to the improv, which the improv is like a well run machine. They've yeah. got them all over the country. Oh. So they, they, they used to have like a Caesar chicken salad. Mm-hmm. You could put dressing on the side. Well, <laughs> this menu was wings, cheese sticks, nachos, quesadilla, that kind of stuff. Pretzels. Oh, yeah, all that yeah. and fried, dipped yeah. in. <laughs> and everybody in the kitchen was yummy, and they were they were darling men that are Latino that I'm in love with. Yeah. I love a Latino man. Yeah, and they were like, Liam, what can we cook for you?" And I could, what was I supposed to do? So I got I ate wings a lot. Uh huh. Uh huh. And so, and I was trying to get through it and trying, you know, tap dancing, keeping balls in the air, trying to keep those shows good because it was a long week, a hard week. Two shows on New Year's Eve. Do you know the second show doesn't even start till two fifteen? You know I don't in have the the energy for that. No, and at night. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, say. two. Yeah, New Year's Eve day. Yeah, so eight o'clock, ten fifteen. Why well, don't go on until eleven? Um, so think about me at 53 years old at 11 o'clock you know at home i go to bed at nine i don't yeah. even know my name <laughs> so i'm I, so i'm drinking wine <laughs> but trying to also drink a lot of water <laughs> and i'm wearing one of my patch md patches it's the you know the b6 the the b's that for energy and then i got a patch on for anti-aging and then i've got one for weight loss <laughs> I've got these patches stuck all over me, and then I'm drinking alcohol and, and eating cheese sticks. But anyway, okay, so very, I, very, very balanced approach. I know, and I and I hate to tell you that. And if y'all could see Karen right now in her belt, I could not get that belt around my thigh. But anyway, so I I get home from San Antonio, oh. and every my whole family are like, "We're going to go on Whole Thirty Diet." Okay, and Chuck said. We're doing this. And see, Chuck Morgan, if he sets his mind to something, he'll do it. Mm-hmm. He'll lose 
twenty five pounds mm-hmm. in a month. I'll lose two. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I usually I don't make it past seven days. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> and whole, I, whole seven, <laughs> whole seven. <laughs> And you know you've been through diets with me. I'll come in and go, oh, I'm on the so-and-so. And And you'll be, "Mm -hmm." and you're very encouraging. Which I know in your mind you're thinking, you're not going to do this, Lena. I would never think that. You angel. But, and I don't know how many times I've joined Weight Watchers since I've known you. But anyway, (laughs) I got on Whole30, started January the 1st. And Chuck said, you didn't start that because you were traveling that day. And I go, yeah, Dan. In the airport, I did. I started January the 1st. Now, I've had a couple of glimpses, mm-hmm. but for the most part, I have I have done Whole30. So yesterday and the day before yesterday, I felt like, I thought, am I getting the flu? Which you gave me a flu shot. And I thought, I, is the strain working this time? <laughs> I Googled that all day yesterday. I stayed in the bed. I sweat at a couple of nights, and I know I've got you know menopause symptoms where i have hot flashes Mm -hmm. but it's like i can't get my body temperature regulated Mm -hmm. and i have felt just like somebody knocked me in the head Mm -hmm. i've had a little bit of congestion and ear pain and i thought okay i'm starting to get sick but i've never gotten sick right what is that (laughs) and i was going to call you but i thought oh she's doctoring people Yeah, so uh, what what can happen when you go on a a, a low carb diet? Which I'm yes, since no grains, no, no grains, dairy, right? So Ugh. so you're eating a low carb diet, and most of us, probably, I'm sure all of us have some some amount of yeast in our body, in our colon, on our skin, um, and yeast thrives on sugars uh, you know when the blood sugar is higher when um so carbohydrates can really help sustain the life of yeast in your body so when you take away those carbs really quickly yes um you start some of that yeast starts dying off and it takes a few days it's usually in the first week of the of a diet like that um if you have yeast present that people will get what we call the yeast die-off symptoms, and it's they're flu-like symptoms. People are real draggy. They ache. You know, they have no energy. Um, some people will get if you tend to have yeast symptoms, other yeast symptoms like if you tend to get yeast vaginitis, sometimes you'll get a flare of that um, problem. So, uh, and then then once your body gets used to having lower carbs and and that yeast die off is slowed then people start feeling better it's usually in the first week to two weeks of of that kind of carb decrease in the diet that people have symptoms okay well i called chuck morgan he's traveling and i said do you feel bad chuck something's bad wrong with me i am really sick or something bad and he goes nothing's wrong with you <laughs> you need to Google Whole Thirty and menopause. That's what you're going through. And I and he said I did cheat and have a couple of beers. Mm-hmm. They were probably watching the Alabama Clemson, mm-hmm. which you can't blame him for that. No, not at <clears> all. and he was in Destin, so oh, Florida. Yeah, nice. there's lots of mobile home lots down there. Oh. I know. Um, and so uh, he said I don't feel bad. No, I don't feel bad. But you know, he plays a lot of tennis, and he has been more active than me and he's probably eaten better than me i wondered if because i have eaten so bad the week before right, that, right. if I, that made it that yeah worse. i was gonna say the 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 thing is if you really carb load right before you start a diet like that it's usually quite a bit worse yeah oh. and I, years and years ago my husband and i went uh, on a yeast-free diet <laughs> together and and he you know he looked over everything you couldn't have for 30 days and um and he said well i'm, I'm gonna have some cookies i think he ate half a dozen cookies the night before we started and oh he was miserable <laughs> when we started that diet because he had d- done this big sugar load and then you and know, then his then body take, was reacting and then he had more significant die-off symptoms because you know there is a diet out there there's something in, in in knoxville where we are Somebody has one of these clinics or whatever that's like Whole30, but it's more um, strict. Mm-hmm. And they tell people 
to carb load before. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, you're supposed to eat fat or carbs or something bef- before uh-huh. you start this, and then you go on it. And they, it's so strict. And I was like, I'm not even, you know, my friends have done it, and I'm like, I can't even. I don't have the, you know me and my menopause symptoms and all I got going on. It, I can't tackle that. Yeah, yeah. I can't climb that Mount Kilimanjaro. Yeah, yeah. So I, I just thought Whole30. Yeah, and, that's and reasonable. If, and if I do it the best I can. Yeah. You know, if you, but will I, if I do it for 30 days and I cheat, if something were to, a carb or sugar that I wasn't supposed to have, am I going to go through no. another week of horror? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And, 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 and Chuck may not have had as had those symptoms because he was, you know, if he's having a beer or whatever, I mean, he's, if he's getting some carbs like that, um, that kept him from feeling mm-hmm, bad. Mm-hmm. Well, my little mama, Lucille, who you would love, she knows all about you. Okay, I said, Lucille, because she's trying to do it too. And I said, Lucille, how do you feel today? This was the day before yesterday. I said, I feel so sick. And she goes, oh, my darling, your daddy had to get his hearing aids done over at Costco. And he got a piece of pizza. And I got one of those foot-long hot dogs, honey, with a bun. She goes, I feel like a million dollars. <laughs> she said, I don't. I'm going to get back on it tomorrow. But she she said, no, I feel great. And then I talked to her this morning, and she went to my nephew's basketball game last night, and she said, that popcorn tormented me, but yeah. I did not eat it. And I couldn't help but laugh because, you know, when you smell popcorn, yeah, you got to have popcorn. That's brutal. I know. That's why I haven't been to any movies in the last week. I don't know <laughs> if I could deal with it. Because I love a Diet Coke and a popcorn. But, um, I, and I'll do, I will say this, you know, me and, I have had a, every once in a while when I felt so bad, I thought, I got to have a Diet Coke or something, a fizz. Well, and the caffeine is helping, I mean, helping you feel better. But do you feel better today? I do feel better today. I don't feel great, but yeah. I feel better today. It's, it feels a little bit better. But maybe part of that is the adrenaline, knowing I was going to get to see you. <laughs> and you could tell me <laughs> What's that I'm all right. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so whole 30, a lot of people are going on that. Yeah. And then um, a lot of people are doing keto diet, which is also keto. really low, really low carb. Do people feel bad on keto? And, and a lot of people will do, and again, initially in those first, the first week or two, but then um, after that, they usually feel much better. Okay, my good friends went on keto. We went to the Georgia Tennessee basketball game. Oh, That's yeah. the first game I've gotten to go to. Oh yeah, I know it was darling. And the you know that little guy at halftime played the drums yeah, on the I trash saw, can. I was there. <gasps> you were. I know. Yeah. Wasn't he darling? Yeah, he was great. How uh, you can make a five gallon drum or whatever that is? Five gallon. Tr- what is that called? <laughs> bucket. Bucket. <laughs> it looked like a firehouse moment. subs bucket to me. <laughs> <laughs> how you can make that sound so good i mean sound like a, a a trap and a bass drum and i don't know how he did it i know he, he was darling yeah he was i thought should i start drumming <laughs> but um <laughs> so we were we ordered uh, or she my friend is on keto and her husband mm-hmm. and she ordered pork rinds and that you can have that on keto yeah. because low carb and all that but, but on Lord. whole 30 you can't have msg and all that mess yeah but i did find out that on and see i'm bad about on a diet i try to get around stuff <laughs> but on uh amazon there are these pork rinds panko crumbs it's all and the only ingredients is pork and salt and i know that <laughs> it's like oh yeah Leanne, eat pork and salt but you can make meatloaf you can use those instead of bread crumbs and you can bread like chicken with it dredge your chicken oh. and then use a panko crumb you know and then um and then put them in a little olive oil or ghee. Well, I mean, I feel like it'll get you through a hard time. <laughs> so anyway, I ordered these little bags of pork rinds. I thought, oh, that are crumbled up that look like bread crumbs. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay, you let have, me. You have to let me know how that goes. I know. Well, I will. All right. Let me say this. I was at a baby shower on Sunday, yeah. and there was a lot of moms. Yes. That are. There was little mamas that are having their babies mm. and had on little tight outfits that showed their stomach, which isn't that fun how yeah. they wear stuff like that now. Yeah. And then there were people my age and a little bit older, and I turned to them and I said, I don't know what y'all wore when y'all were pregnant, but I, I had like big corduroy overalls. <laughs> 
in white orthopedic tennis shoes. <laughs> you, you know, they had terrible clothes. You were rocking it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> terrible. I know. But they were yummy and pretty little girls and then these darling mamas. And um, one of the mamas said to me that she has, they keep, people keep saying, you've got yeast. You've got yeast. You need to go on a yeast-free diet. What is a yeast free? What is this yeast business that everybody's talking about? <laughs> okay, so a yeast free diet. I, the one that I recommend is is a thirty day diet, um, and it's not only you're not um, you're eliminating grains because that can feed. We're we're looking at things that tend to promote yeast growth. Okay. We're trying to remove those things from the diet. So that list includes grains. So you have to eliminate all grains. It includes every form of sugar, including lactose, which is in dairy. Uh huh. So dairy is bye bye. Um, anything that is in the uh, the fungal family, like mushrooms, um, you eliminate that. Vinegar. The vinegar is the, the I think the toughest one, honestly, but vinegar um you want to eliminate so that eliminates a lot of salad dressings that kind of thing so you have to use things like just squeeze lemon juice and olive and sprinkle olive oil on your salad which actually is pretty yummy i know a lot of people like that um and you eliminate um alcohol of course that's a, a grain product but um or a fruit product and you can't have fruit for the first two weeks fruit or butter for the first two weeks and then you can add fruit and butter for the last two weeks and and the 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 diet that i um can i give to people has a list of favorable okay and unfavorable foods or poor choice foods in all those categories in the categories of the things you can eat so you want to obviously choose as many things from the favorable list. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's it's pretty strict, um, and it's it's tough because um, there are a lot of things that you can, aren't allowed to eat are in things like cold cuts. So you know you, it's not like you can go. What's in cold cuts? That what is it? Not are you talking about <laughs> well, not like nitrates? Ni- yeah, you know? well nitrates, and usually there's. Um, uh, there's sometimes some vinegar in, oh. and so, yeah. Because I tried no nitrates. I'm trying to yeah. do all that. Yeah. Okay. Let me and, ask oh, you. And we, we put people on uh, Nystatin, which is a prescription antifungal. And, and that's called what? Nystatin. Oh. And you take that for for the 30 days also. Okay. So when, okay, when people come in and they, what makes you know that they've got yeast overload or problem what are people's symptoms or what what is that about well if people have a lot of gi symptoms but most of the time our yeast is in the colon um yeah. and so if people are having a lot of gi symptoms it's something to consider if they tend to get recurrent yeast symptoms Infections. yeah like like in you know in the breast folds or the groin you know we get Yeast, yeast on our skin I, on your skin mm-hmm. what does that look like a rash <laughs> yeah it's red and raw and oh how horrible yeah okay or, gi problems what are you or, talking about are you talking about ibs you're yeah, talking about sort of irritable bowel type problems and you know or a lot of rectal itching rectal itching <laughs> That'll happen to me. Oh, that sounds like something that. Mm. Also, people tend to have like toenail fungus, you know, athlete's oh. foot, um, vag- yeast vaginitis, those kinds of things. It, it it really helps to cut back on on the things that promote yeast in your diet and and slow that process down so you're not getting those recurrent infection because a lot of people who tend to get that yeast on the skin or yeast vaginitis i mean it it keeps happening over and over and over because you know there's any kind you know eat any kind of sugar uh, that'll flare it up i know several women that have had a problem with yeast yeah well and it certainly is worse than someone with diabetes because they're 
their blood is so rich in sugar. Um, and so we have a lot of yeast overgrowth problems, like even even uh, urinary tract infections that are caused by yeast, which we don't typically see in somebody without diabetes. But um, yeah, it's it's a real problem. Is the yeast anything? So is that related to gut health? And mm-hmm. so that's big. Because you hear these words now, in 2019, yeah. gut health. Yeah. You know, that people call it leaky gut, you know, when yes. you just don't have a healthy gut. So, you know, typically, again, with the yeast-free diet, we have people take a probiotic um, to build up the good bacteria in the colon because that's what helps tamp down the yeast. You know, our, our good bacteria is there to take care of opportunistic organisms like bad bacteria and yeast. And viruses. Oh, so that probiotic, you've got me on one. Mm-hmm. That so just take keeps, a probiotic. That just keeps the, the gut healthier. Mm-hmm. What is there, are the other things off the top of your head where you think that really helps gut health? Is it is it staying off of gluten and dairy also? I think anything that tends to be inflammatory for you, if you know that you eat something and it upsets your stomach or your gut, you probably should stay away from that. I mean, anything that's inflammatory for you, and and sometimes that can be figured out by just elimination diet, you know, just taking away things that you think are inflaming your, your colon or causing inflammation in your joints. Um, and then we're you know, we've talked about that ALCAT testing mm-hmm. before, the, uh, the blood test that looks uh, at um, uh, antibody reaction to different foods and eliminating the, those foods to eliminate inflammation. Yeah. All right. You're going to go, yeah, Leanne. Um, I have not taken any kind of uh, Pepsid or anything yeah. like that since I've been on this whole 30. So dairy or grains make me have mm-hmm. indigestion. Mm-hmm. I would say it's probably gluten mm-hmm. or grains. But, but you know, Charlie, my son, said, you mom, you may be able to, when you get off of this, you can integrate back farro or, yeah. you know, some grains may not bother you. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly right. He's right yeah. about that. Good job. Oh, no, not you know, like a sourdough, yeah. gluten-free sourdough, <laughs> sourdough. <laughs> which where can you get that? I mean, in Knoxville. I don't know. Do they have that at Trader Joe's? I don't know if it's, they might have a sourdough, but I don't know if it's gluten-free. But, you know, I love Trader Joe's. Yeah. I have found more things. They have, they have some good stuff there. They really do have some good stuff. Yeah. And people are sweet there. Yeah. They really are. You think, oh, should I get a job at the Trader Joe's? <laughs> And have fun people to work with. Uh, there would be a good job, except it's always so cold in there. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'd freeze to death. I know you would freeze to death, but you need some body fat. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my own body fat. Okay. All right. So that our time's already up. And Okay. So thank you for explaining yeast and what I'm going through. I can yeah. lay down on this floor right now. Yeah. So all of you who are um, doing a New Year's diet and cutting out all your carbs... Just remember that you might have some a couple days, two or three days when you don't feel so so. When well. you feel like almost flu-like symptoms. Mm-hmm. Now, if that persists, or you have a high fever, and you have other symptoms other than just aches, if you have classic flu symptoms, sudden onset of symptoms, high fever, body aches, sometimes diarrhea, you know, runny nose, sore throat. You feel like you've been hit by a truck. Yeah. <laughs> Better just to get checked out to see if you have the flu. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't feel like I've been hit by a train. No. It would I be just feel like onset. I've been yeah. I've been nudged by a train and knocked over in a ditch. Yeah. <laughs> and then somebody came and punched me. Well, I hope you'll be out of that ditch soon. Thank you, my yeah. darling. Okay. Well, well, thank you for yeah. this episode. Um and, and we'll, see you next time. That's right. Okay. Sweaty and pain.